Uh, I stand uh, before this legislature uh, putting really one of the most comprehensive clean energy bills that uh, have, uh, has been placed anywhere in the, this whole great nation. This is the roadmap, ladies and gentlemen, to our energy future. We'll be in a position to cut carbon, cut the footprint, and consequently deal with uh, issues of climate change. We will create jobs. We will spur the economy. Now, currently, New Jersey, between class one and class two, and very simply put, through out-of-state wind and solar and, and a little bit of uh, hydroelectric, about 12 percent of the energy that we use is low carbon or renewable. These set our goals by the year 2020 to 21 percent, and by 2025 to 35 percent, and by 2030, 50 percent. Now, how do we get there? Well, we get there through a combination of energy efficiency, of promulgation of our already successful solar programs, as well as wind energy, and pilot programs that are very unique in the form of community solar. And as it relates to our solar programs, which we had the wisdom to, uh, to begin, give or take, about 10 or 11 years ago, uh, we are literally out of capacity. So what this bill does is it permits solar to continue to be promulgated through the SRECs, through the supplements that will allow that indeed to occur. With respect to wind, we're going to do it through the OREcs. It's amazing that we've gone from a goal of 1,100 megawatts to 3,500. That's the largest goal in the nation. The closest to that is New York at 2,400. What that will do and it'll be five to seven years before we see it being delivered. But when that kicks in, what that will do will literally bring thousands upon thousands of jobs to this state, as well as cheap energy. Through energy efficiency in the short run, that is going to be where we're going to get the most bang for our buck, because that's 53% of what our footprint is today. By setting goals of a 0.75 reduction relative to what we do to heat our homes and, and a 0.2% reduction as it relates to electric use times four, times four years, that'll move into proportionately those numbers I shared with you, again, getting us to 50% by 2030. BPU, stakeholders, the utilities, of course, will get together and put those efficiency programs in place. Today, my colleagues, 32,000 individuals are employed in the energy efficiency industry. As this kicks in, that number will swell to 100,000. Everybody always wax poetically about the green economy. This is the green economy. With this legislation, will promulgate the kind of things that are so important both to our climate and so important to our economic well-being. Community solar is another piece so interesting because it's about accessibility. If you own in a condo now and live there, you can't take advantage of solar because you can't put the panel on your roof. Well, this sets up a pilot program allowing everyone, whether you're an apartment dweller that pays for their their heat or whether you're in a condo or some other restricted area to allow you to invest kind of in a farm and relative to making that investment and getting that credit. Energy storage will be a part of this. We're, Elon Musk says he's five years away of being able to build a battery that's going to be in one's garage that will just continue to lead on the road to energy efficiency. New Jersey, by the investment and the aspect, that aspect of this legislation, will be there along with that technology. And lastly, as I continue to talk about jobs and how important that is, a job training element. A job training element that will take individuals in manufacturing positions today, that will partner with community colleges, that will collectively move to train our citizens to be a part of what will be not only the renewable energy efforts that will be relatively immediate, but most importantly, the wind as it moves forward. 
So it's with that, uh, Mr. Speaker, that I uh, call upon all of us to uh, join in to what I think is historic steps by this legislature in moving us on the road to our energy future. Thank you.